Welcome to Board Prep Cardiology Batch 6. Today I will share 20 questions with you. I recommend that you pause the video after each question and provide the answer. In doing so, you're evaluating how much you really know. Let's begin. Question 101. Constrictive pericarditis causes the pressure in all four chambers to be equalized. Which signs would you expect to be associated with this condition? Narrow pulse pressure, jugular venous distension, and Kutzmal sign. 102. Myocarditis is inflammation of the myocardium. It is commonly caused by viruses. Name three groups of virus associated with this condition. Coxsackie, parvovirus B19, and herpes virus 6. 103. Pleuritic chest pain is pain associated with breathing. In which condition would a patient get relief from the pain if they sat up and lean forward pericarditis 104 a patient with difficulty breathing presents with jugular venous distension that failed to decrease during inspiration what is this condition called Kuzmel sign 105 which is the imaging modality of choice to confirm pericardial effusion echocardiography 106 what is the most common finding in cardiac tamponade? Elevated jugular venous pressure. 107. What is seen on the venous waveforms when the jugular venous pressure is elevated? Prominent X descent with absent Y descent. Question 108. Which organism is usually associated with rheumatic heart disease? Group A streptococcus. 109. Rheumatic heart disease is usually a complication of which condition? Streptococcal pharyngitis. 110. Which is the most common valve to be affected in rheumatic heart disease? Mitral valve is first, followed by the aortic valve. 111. Rheumatic heart disease requires two major criteria for the diagnosis to be made identify the five major criteria one migratory polyarthritis two erythema marginatum three cardiac involvement including pericarditis congestive heart failure and valve valve disease four chorea and five subcutaneous nodules one question 112 Rheumatic heart disease requires two minor and one major criteria for the diagnosis to be made. Identify all the minor criteria. 1. Fever. 2. Elevated erythrocyte sedimentary rate. 3. Polyarthralgias. 4. Prior history of rheumatic fever. 5. Prolonged PR interval. and 6. Evidence of preceding streptococcal infection. Question 113. Endocarditis is an infection of the endocardial surface of the heart. It is classified as acute or subacute. Which organism causes acute endocarditis on native valve? Streptococcus veridens. Streptococcus veridens is the most common organism in native valve endocarditis. 114. Which organism causes endocarditis in persons with prosthetic valve? Staphylococci are the most common cause of early onset endocarditis. Symptoms appear within 60 days of surgery. 115. The symptoms of late onset endocarditis usually manifest about 60 days after surgery. Which organism is commonly involved? Streptococci. 116. Which organism is most commonly involved in intravenous drug users with endocarditis? Staphylococcus aureus. 117. Due criteria has been used to establish the diagnosis of endocarditis using two major or one major and three minors or five minors. Name the major criteria. 1. Persistently positive blood cultures consistent with infective endocarditis and 2. 
positive echocardiogram. Question 118. Due criteria has been used to establish the diagnosis of endocarditis used in two major or one major and three minors or five minors. Name the minor criteria. One, fever. Two, predisposing cardiac condition. Three, vascular phenomena. Four, immunologic phenomena. And five, positive blood culture not consistent with infective endocarditis. Question 119. Name the conditions that qualify for endocarditis prophylaxis. Dental procedures involving blood cultures, or rather dental procedures involving blood, procedures involving the respiratory mucosa, and procedures involving infected skin or musculoskeletal tissues. Question 120. Which is the best imaging modality to identify abnormal valves in endocarditis? Transesophageal echocardiogram. Well, thanks for watching. Let the fire for knowledge burn within you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.